Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid bringing you another episode of uh, Powered Science Fitness. Today we're going to talk about a really common uh, muscle impairment or muscle imbalance that comes on in the body or uh, we see a lot in, in people's postures. In fact, this is probably the primary functional deficit that you're going to see in most populations. So most likely you guys have heard of this before. It's called upper cross and lower cross syndrome. Today what I want to do is draw the connection between the lower cross and the upper cross. So some of you have heard of this maybe. What it really is is it's this imbalance in the body between the flexors of the hip and the extensors of the hip and the flexors of the lumbar and the extensors of the lumbar. So what I've got here is a little, little drawing. You've got a, a good posture. And what I want to draw your attention to is this plumb line. So basically this serves as your center of gravity line and it intersects with certain key uh, bony markers. So the ankle bone at the side, and this is a side profile, right side profile. So that would be the lateral malleoli, the fibular head, the intersecting body would then come up to the acetabulum or the middle of the, the hip socket, roughly in line with what's called the greater trochanter, that little elbow of your femur. Their intervertebral bodies of the lumbars, they intersect that line. The AC joint, the chromulocolicular, and then finally up to the, the ear canal or external auditory malleus, okay? Sometimes they reference the cheekbone, so the zygomatic arch as well. But that should all stack, and if it's stacked, that means that the balance of tension between flexors on the front of the body and extensors are balanced. So when we say they're out of balance, then it's referred to as a crossed pattern. So that means that you're going to see a biasing of certain extensor compression and certain flexor compression. And that you're going to see in the suboptimal posture. So what you see here is that we have a weakening of the abdominals which is essentially a lumbar flexor. So we say adaptive shortening of the lumbar extensors. And that can carry up all the way up to the mid thoracic portion of your, your spine. And remember that spine is supposed to be rounded. So when it flattens out because it takes on the characteristic of the lumbar, it has to migrate forward to balance that. So if you shift your center of mass forward, which you can see that hip is forward of that plumb line, the body naturally has to balance it by drawing that trunk and shoulder and neck forward to keep you from falling over. So really what's going on here is it's not just isolated, poor posture, idiosyncratic behavioral issues, like occupational redundancies, think sit behind a desk, right? But it's also a derivative of the instability from the center of gravity. And this is what we want to draw your attention to. So oftentimes people spend an inordinate amount of time on the neck and the shoulders hoping to get that to correct itself, when in reality the mechanism has to do with the center of gravity imbalance underneath of it. So then what we see is an adaptive shortening of the pectorals, the chest flexors, the neck flexors, and then an extension or overextension of the neck muscles, the mid thoracic muscles. So there's this combination of strength work that we need to do to fix that. We gotta release these flexors, increase the extensor strength, we need to open up our thoracic mobility through breathing drills. And we need to learn how to maintain intra-abdominal pressure because these segments support each other and they're referred to as polygonal relationships. So compression, tension, and three segments on the spine. We're gonna talk more about that tomorrow. Again, spinal segmental control and how to balance that during gait. Pretty cool things. Once you understand how to leverage that, boy, can you get a lot out of your body. So again, today was about upper cross, lower cross, how they correlate, what you can do to get rid of it. Well, stop sitting so much, start working on these relationships we just talked about. And again, reach out to someone who may know better. So then call us if you have questions, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Once again, it's Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness, reminding you your body's designed to move, so stay in motion. We'll see you soon.